What's the difference between a design engineer and a project engineer? This video is for people considering a career in the built environment and have studied engineering and are trying to work out which jobs to apply for. Should you try and become a project engineer or should you become a design engineer? Which one are you going to prefer? Which one is going to give you a better career? There is so much confusion about the different types of engineering jobs. I can't tell you how many times I've told people I'm an engineer and they've asked, so what do you actually do? Everyone seems to think an engineer sits in the office and does drawings and calculations. And that is 100% not correct. In this video, I'm gonna help you understand the different engineering jobs in the construction industry. And we'll look at what a design engineer does versus what a project engineer does and the different skills and qualifications each job role has and the different companies that employ them. And we'll also give you five questions you can ask yourself to determine whether you should become a project engineer or whether you should become a design engineer. Let's start with what a design engineer does. A design engineer develops the technical solution for a project. Their job is to develop the detailed drawings and specifications that define what to build. So they'll be using engineering software, looking at the project requirements, and determining exactly what the technical solution for a project is. So for example, if you're a civil design engineer working on a road project, you'll be the one that looks at the alignment of the road, the depth of the pavement formation, where the drainage crossings are gonna be, the elevations and heights of different sections, and you'll be compiling all this information, working it out, making sure it's correct, and then putting it into a set of engineering drawings and specifications. You'll be applying technical engineering principles and then working and collaborating with different engineering disciplines and stakeholders to develop the set of drawings that define exactly what needs to be built. So for a design engineer, they'll need an engineering degree. So whether they're civil, mechanical, electrical, or structural, they'll need experience using engineering software. So whether that's AutoCAD or Revit or 3D modeling software or calculation softwares, they'll need strong analytical skills. They'll, be able, they'll need to be able to understand the technical constraints, what the engineering principles they need to apply, and then apply them to the specific project. They'll need creativity, and be able to come up with novel solutions to engineering problems. And then they'll need good communication and collaboration skills. A design isn't developed in a silo. Every project is multidisciplinary. You need to be able to work with different stakeholders. So you need really, really good communication skills. Design engineers typically get employed by professional services company. These are companies that deliver engineering designs. So companies like Aecom, Jacobs, Arrow, they're some of the types of companies that employ design engineers. And design engineers get involved early on in the project during the design phase, but are also typically involved in the construction phase by providing construction phase services. So what is a project engineer? Project engineers are employed by general contractors or contracting companies to deliver construction works. This means coordinating and managing all the different construction activities to deliver a project, basically, to build what the set of drawings and specifications show that you need to build. They aren't involved in engineering design. Well, they don't complete engineering design. They have end-to-end -end ac accountability for a package of works to deliver it safely, correctly, under budget, and ahead of schedule. It's a project management role. And so they'll work with a variety of internal and external stakeholders to deliver a project. Their responsibilities include things like scheduling, design management, quality assurance and control, risk management. As a project engineer, companies still require that you have an engineering degree. So whether you've studied civil, mechanical, or electrical, that'll typically reflect the specialization you do as a project engineer. For example, as a project engineer, you could be employed as a civil project engineer, an electrical project engineer, or a mechanical project engineer. You also do need really strong technical skills. You need to be able to read and interpret engineering drawings. You need to understand what you're actually building. But on top of just the technical skills, you'll need a good understanding of the construction methodologies to actually turn these drawings into a reality. On top of that, you need construction project management skills. You need to understand how to produce and implement a schedule. You need to understand how to set up a quality management system. You need to understand how to work out how much something costs. These project management skills are what you apply in your job to coordinate and deliver the works. So you need to leverage your technical skills to implement them, 
but your core job will be applying construction project management skills. And also, you'll be working with so many different people and projects, you need to master communication and people skills. You need to be able to work with lots of different subcontractors, tradespeople, stakeholders, the client, the project manager, the commercial team, and the design team. Working with the design team is a massive part of the job, that you'll be the one liaising and understanding the drawings and specifications. And if issues come up and there's a mistake in the drawings, you need to understand that you need to raise an RFI and communicate with the design team. So communication and people skills are a massive part of a project engineer's job. So what are the key differences between a design engineer and a project engineer? Number one is the focus area. The focus of a design engineer is to produce the drawings and specifications. The focus of a project engineer is to deliver the works in accordance with the drawings and specifications. One's a technical engineering job, one's a project management job. The second is who your employer is. Design engineers are typically employed by professional services firms. Project engineers are employed by contractors. The fundamental skill set you have is also different. So the fundamental skills of a design engineer are technical engineering skills. The fundamental skills of a project engineer are construction project management skills. The next is the location. This is actually quite an important one if you're thinking about work-life balance. The project engineer is based on site. They're working on site on a construction project, wherever that is. Design engineers are typically based in the office. And then the fifth is the type of work you'll be doing. Design engineers will typically be doing big stints of design work solving engineering problems. Construction engineers or project engineers are gonna be working with lots of different people, coordinating, getting things done. The work for a project engineer is typically much more chaotic, unstructured, about administration. When a design engineer, it's much more technical, solving engineering problems and applying engineering principles. So. What are five questions you can ask yourself to determine whether to become a project engineer or whether to become a design engineer? Number one, do you prefer technical creativity or planning and coordinating? There's, they're fundamentally different jobs. A design engineer is applying technical engineering principles when a project engineer is coordinating and managing works. Which sounds more fun to you? Number two, how important is work-life balance? As a project engineer, you'll be based on a project, wherever that might be. You, have to, you might have to move cities, you might have to relocate to a rural area. I've done a fair bit of fly-in, fly-out work and it's super disruptive on your life. As opposed to a design engineer, where you'll typically be based in an office in the city. Number three, what work environment suits you better? Are you happy working long hours in the office without disruption? Or do you need to be able to walk around, go on site, talk to different people? Which one suits you better? Number four is what is your skill set? Are you strong technically or are you a strong manager and administrator? And number five, what are your aspirations? Do you love the technical side of engineering and really want to master electrical engineering or civil engineering? Or in 10 years time, do you see yourself managing a big project and working with a lot of different people? There's no right or wrong answers to these questions, but they're simply a framework that I think helps to determine which job role is going to suit you better. I hope this video gave you some useful insights. There is a ton of confusion about the difference between a project engineer and a design engineer. So if you're looking at starting your career, I think it's incredibly important to understand the difference. I had no idea when I was applying for jobs and I luckily ended up working for a contractor in a job that I really, really enjoyed. However, I think if I had started off doing design engineering and that was my understanding of what an engineering job was, I don't think I would have stayed an engineer. I was lucky enough to land in the right job, but understanding before you apply will also help you do better in your career. Hopefully you found this video useful and it gave you some sort of framework for thinking about engineering jobs. If you are interested in becoming a project engineer, then we offer a range of short courses on the fundamental construction project management skills designed to help you take your career to the next level and accelerate your job progression. So click on the link below in the description.